Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a fun little Happy Easter video. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. With spring right around the corner, a lot of people are looking for ways to say Happy Easter to their friends. So we're going to create this little video here where we have some Easter eggs that have some faces and then of course a bunny in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Then we're going to start from scratch. This egg photo, let me go over to my downloads real quick. And you'll see that I found on pixabay.com these two images, one just with these blank eggs and then the other with the little bunny faces with the little ears drawn on. And that's what I did in that example I showed you earlier. I used this as inspiration. And then I added my own faces. I had already uploaded my Easter eggs. So we're gonna put them in position here. And something like that's fine. Now you may recall a few months ago, we did how to animate a face tutorial. And I still have those faces in my doodly. So once you upload them, unless you delete them, they're still there. So I want to use these same faces. So I want this guy here, no add. We want to add him. We don't want to replace. And I'm going to put him here and I'm going to flip him. And then I'm going to put that same face over here. So they're both looking kind of towards our bunny rabbit. And then we'll have a happy guy. That egg is a little tilted, so let's tilt him a little bit. Let's have a surprised guy. How about this guy here? And then on the duration, let's just, we just want to draw them real quickly. We do not necessarily want to spend, you know, 18 seconds on drawing these little faces. We just want to get them in here. And then likewise with our egg background, I just want it on there to start. So we're just gonna see the eggs and then start drawing the faces on. And then I want that bunny face, which I also have from an earlier video. So let's find it. Bunny face right here. And I do already have drawing pads on all of these. Now you'll notice they're all, they all have transparency on these images. So they go on top of these eggs really nicely. Now, what about the bunny ears? Well, I'm going to delete these ones that I made earlier and I'm going to show you how I made them. So what I want to do is go into my favorite Pixelmator Pro. You can use Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, whichever program you use to create graphics that, that supports, you know, like a paintbrush tool or a line tool. So I'm now in Pixelmator Pro and I have this inspiration graphic. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm using it for inspiration. All I wanna do is go over here to my paintbrush tool, select a brush, I like this one. Brush size is probably a little thin, so let's thicken that up, that's probably good. Make sure the color is white, which it is. Now, before I draw my ears on, I wanna make sure to add an empty layer and that's so that I can draw the ears and have them on a transparent background. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace over like so. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just using this kind of as inspiration. And that's fine. So now if we hide the background layer, we have our bunny ears and a transparent area around the bunny ears. Okay, so I like that, I'm going to go ahead and export. I want to choose SVG because I want to preserve the transparency. I could also choose PNG if I'd like. Either will work. Let's go back to Doodly, go to Props, blue plus sign, and let's drag our bunny ears in. Then we just need to position them on our bunny. They're a little too large, so let's just shrink them down. And that looks really cute. Now let's add some text. I like this font. 
but you'll notice black on black doesn't work. So let's go ahead, click the gear icon, and let's change the color. I'm going to choose green, and I'm going to make it a real pale pastel green. So it's Easter. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my text, which is, have a happy. And I did split it. I'm going to say Easter in another line here. So I want the bunny ears in between. Now I like that size just fine. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to hit control V to paste it. So have a happy. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in Easter. And that just saves me from having to resize the text and recolor it. And then I want to go down here and I'm going to say love Pam. And this time I'm going to highlight my text. I'm going to click the palette. I'm going to choose, let's choose red. And then I'm going to drag the little slider over into the pink zone. So it's just an alternate way to get to this little color changing tool. And I'm going to choose a pale pink. I think that'll be good. And there we go. We're almost done. Scene settings, we want seven seconds at the end so they can enjoy the image. Let's just make sure on our timing. Okay, so our ears, they're not gonna need to be three seconds long. Give me one and a half. Same with this little bunny face. Let's go back to the ears. Click the pencil icon. You can't see them white on white. They're invisible again. So here, background. Let's change it to black. You can see it much better. And you notice it scribbles on by default and I don't like that. I'm gonna create some drawing paths. So I've got path one and I'm just gonna start drawing. And you're gonna notice the line is way too thin. So we wanna cover our little stroke by making the path size much fatter. Since there's transparent, it's fine. We're not gonna look sloppy because we're just revealing transparency. So that's not a big deal if you're too large. And this is a super easy one to do. takes all of maybe 20 seconds. It's gonna look much nicer. Now let's make sure, go to settings, that erase mode is off, which it is, because I was working with this video earlier. And then choose a hand. I went over to 3D and, well, first I went over to cartoon hands and then I chose a 3D hand and I like this one and that's fine. We should be just about right. I think we might want some delays. Just a slight one between these. And then a slightly longer one before Love Pamela comes on. And that's basically it. Let's take a quick look and then we'll be done. And that's just a fun little way that you could create a happy Easter video for your friends. I hope you have a good Easter and thank you for watching. <laughs>